Kumlen and Ablak Gemara. Today's daf is daf Chav Beis Amr Aleph. So in the Mishnah, we learned that you cannot write a get while it's still attached and then cut it off afterwards. Um, <clears throat> because when you write it, it has to be done properly. According to Rameh, the main thing is the is, is the chasimah, and if the main thing is the chasimah, according to Rameh, so then um, the writing is not that is all right. According to Rabbi the main thing is the writing. So uh, it's the, and the most important part of the writing is the tariff, where you have the names of the husband and the wife in the place. That's called a tariff. So in the chachila, you shouldn't write any part of the get, even the tariff is the standard template. But for the evidence, all right, as long as the tariff you wrote whenever it's detached. The problem is, there's a number, there's a number of activities you have to write and detach and then give it. And the tariff says the kosav and nosan. Then we talked about if you have a potted plant with punctured, so it's considered as if. You know, it's nurturing from the ground. The Maya says you can still write on the actual leaves of that plant because you can pick the plant up and give it to her. So there's no middle activity. And, and Rubber says that in theory, what you are doing is cutting off as well. So therefore, there is like a middle activity and it's forbidden. So we're up to two lines from the top, talking about a potted plant. <clears throat> talking about a potted plant. So we are going to talk about something else, another aspect of it. So two lines on the top of the page of Chav Beis Ahmed Aleph. What happened the potted plant belongs to one person, let's say to Reuben, and the plants themselves belong to another person, let's say to Shimon. So Shimon owns a, like a property because it's a punctured um, plant, so therefore it's getting its nutrients from the ground. And, and the one who owns the pot is, owns metalclin. And there are different methods of how to acquire. So Mochabal Otsil Balzraim, the owner of the pot of the pot, of the pot of plant, is selling it to his the pot to the owner of the Zeroyim. So it's metalclin. So the normal standard way of being clean and metalclin is portable items. It's keeping shemoshach. As soon as the other person pulls it, Meshich is one of the forms of Wulun Kedush and all the different Kenyanim. In the beginning, cunning, you are kind of. What about the other way around? The owner of the Otsis now is going to be Koina the Zeroyim. Like Koina, he's not Koina actually Yachzi Bezroyim until he makes a Chazak in the Zeroyim. He cannot be Koina just Kinyu Chatzah, the pot belongs to him because it's a mobile. Well, therefore, Chatz Malachas is not Koina. So he needs to make a, a, a Kinyan. What's the methodology of being Koina property? Kesev through money, and to my case, there's no money here. Star, no Star, or Chazak, by working with, a, you know, building a fence, doing something, working with a property. So he has to be Machzik, do something with the Zeroyim themselves, with the plants. What about Otsiv Zeroyim Shalecha? One person owns the entire pot of plant, including the plants. Umachan Laachad, he sells the entire pot of plants to somebody else. How is the other person Koina? Hechazik Bezroyim, if you made a Chazak in the Karka, the din is if you're Koina, the Karka, you're Koina, the metal if you're buying both from the same vendor called the Kenyan Agav. You know, by the way, this is secondary. It gets dragged along. And in the Gemara Kedusha, we'll have a whole discussion whether it has to be, the Batalk has to be sitting inside the Karka, or it could be anywhere. Or even if it's anywhere, you have to say. Over here, Tresa has a whole Hakira, whether you have to even say it, because it's, they're all attached, and they're, they need each other, so maybe it's automatically get dragged along. Uh, we learned the the portable property you, you get dragged along with the um, with the land that you bought. You're looking to make a keser star chazaka on the land. But if you made a chazaka on the part of plant, it's a wrong kenyan because it's a portable item and not and how you paint it through Mashiach dragging it or Hagbo, but lifting it. Is af not only you're not cutting the Zeroyim because you didn't do anything with the Zeroyim, you're not even cutting the Otsit either, the pot, because it's the wrong Kenyan. Ad chiyachsik bizroyim, until you make a chazak in Zeroyim. Now, what interesting shaili now. What about Nakbar Be'odah, let's say, on the Kavi Be'odah, the whole is in Echisrol, and all the Dinah of Echisrol is the puncture in that pot is in Echisrol, so it's getting his nurturing from Echisrol. And all the Dinah of Echisrol is a Chaim, a Truma, and as long as you don't do that, it's Tevel, Toivlo, it's not good. But the Noif of Chutzlar, this particular branch that you want to eat, the fruits on it, it's, it's hanging out in Chutzlar. How do we treat it? Do we look at the, the, the branch where the fruits are growing, or do we look at the, where it's getting its, its nutrients from. Abaya our boss and we go after the whole set of trouble. Rabba boss and we go after the the, the actual branch. So we're explained. Be the ashes. If we're talking about that, it's rooted. Let's say it, 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 it protrude, the roots protruded from the puncture. It's actually sitting in, in the ground where it's just talking about. It's just throw. Keep leaking, even the ashes. It's not physically attached to the land. And therefore, that's the machlaik. How do we treat the knife, the branches? <clears throat> 
Um, so in Yamato, with Ashla Pliga, you tell me that if, it, that, if it, that if the roots are in the ground in Nature Strong, everybody agrees it's considered as Pirate Strong. Let me ask a question. But Tanan, we learned in a Mishnah, stay, you know, there's two gardens, let's take it, Zoo Al Gabi Zoo. You have two people, two neighbors, and one garden is raised above the other garden, let's say at A and B. A is raised above B, and we get a big time. And along that wall, climbing along the wall, there's a vine. Now it's getting all of its nutrients and its and, and its roots are in the in the property that belongs to A, the one that's raised. But the vine itself is is hanging over B's property because it's protruding from the from the wall. So uh, whose is it? Rameir, I mean, you belongs to the one above because you look at where, where the roots are. And if you, without roots, it won't exist. And you, because you're looking at where the fruits. What do you want? We're discussing here the fruits, and the fruits are hanging over the bun below. So we see that even though the, the, root, the roots are taken, taken, and, and are taken into in, in account, nevertheless, it's an argument. What do we? What to focus? So he said, "What are you comparing?" Ha! Oh, some get any time, but there, each one gives their reason. Omar um, Amir said, "My imyitz elyon little so far the one above. If he takes away all the sand and decides to level his property with the one below, and kanyetic, the vegetable dies, ceases to exist. So obviously, in this case, the roots are are, are critical." And Omar um, Abiyud Abiyud says, using that logic, "My imyitz hatachn. If the one below wants to lemalus as ginasi, you know, the one below can raise his property, and then that that vine won't grow at all. So it's his, obviously." In Kanyetic, there's no there's no yet a kid of vegetable. So but not not because they're arguing about the roots. So the is still your very uh, uh, original statement. Makati but the Ashla being an argument in case of roots, but now time the Braisa Elon, a tree. Miktose ba'aret u miktose b'chutzlaret. Part of the tree is in Eretzisrael, and part of the tree is growing in uh, in chutzlaret. And the question is, how do we view the fruits and everything else? Is it considered Eretzisrael? You have to you know, whatever you have to give meisus or not? Says, it seems to me, and the way we're understanding it is that the roots are half and the soil, half and half. The Rebbe says, well, that's exactly how we're going to treat it, half and half. And the Rajbag and his father said, Hagodl Bechiv Chayiv, that's the part of the soil that is Chayiv, Hagodl Potter Potter. And he says, no. Rebbe Shimon Gamil says, <clears throat> So Rebbe says they all got mixed up together. Every fruit there is part, you know, is part tevil is, is part, and part nothing. And therefore you, you have to give truma and mice from itself, but you cannot give truma from somewhere else, which is 100% chayv on this. And you cannot give truma from here on something else and, um, and, and so on. But it's all mixed together. <clears throat> and uh, and Abshim will say, no, it's, 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 it's a part, that's half the tree, which is on the Israeli side is Israel. God of the is at the soil and the part of the potter is water. So um, <clears throat> my lab, what's the case here? Meat is knife but other to meat is knife of I've seen that the tree itself is growing in a It's the branches that are you know protruding here, and that's the most practical way of how it is. Trees in a but then the branches grow, grow out. And and we see clearly that what still, the still we're talking about the branches, the part of the part that's in Khutzlar is considered Khutlar. Says the Gemara um, uh, <clears throat> uh Loy no. Maybe mixa shroshim beretz yisrael or mixa shroshim chuzlar. No, the tree itself, part here, part there. Um, it's the problem with that is, if part of the tree is so part of the tree chuzlar, why does the uh, rabbi will say we still consider it half and half? But the nutrients climb from the ground and they all mix. They don't stay in their own way. They all mix together. Why does he argue with his father, uh, with his son? Well, my time is bag. The mafsik tumor. We're talking about that there is a stone, a rock wedged in there, and therefore it's separated completely inside the tree. This the Israeli side and the Chutzlar side. Says the Gemara, I don't understand. So my time of the Rebbe. So why does Rebbe say we treat it as if they're all mixed together? Because the Hadri RV, Rebbe holds that as it climbs up the tree, they get mixed up again. So what's going on here? But my Kamivki, what's the crux of the argument? Myself that Avgida Mavalbo. That that even though they were separated down, down by the roots, but once they start climbing up the tree and they go into the airspace, they all get mixed up together. And therefore now it's considered as if every part of the tree has part of its own and part of its own. And the Mar Sovereign and the Rajbag holds, once when they lift it from the ground, as they're climbing up the tree, the first section over there, they're completely separated from each other via this rock. And therefore, they, they, um, if they can remain separate all the way up, but if the entire tree would have been, the roots would have been in that Yisrael, then there's no question that all the nutrients that come from that Yisrael, everyone agrees that the tree is Yisrael. So that's a machlek to Bible also, when there's no roots attached to the ground. We only look at the Abba. And the question is, so how do you view that? 
that be who the Ben Pseido said, you know, as I said, you should not write on, on a part on a paper that um, already was erased because then you don't know what else he put out there, or maybe you, he'll erase the conditions they put in there and and, and, uh, and be a problem. Nor can you use this uh, kind of paper known as diphtera. Diphtera is a parchment that hasn't been fully worked through, hasn't fully treated, hasn't been fully tanned. And we'll see that a number of stages. You put flour on it, you put salt on it, you put gold juice on it. If you did all three, then that's the parchment that we have. So Abim Zayda says, I three different kinds of hides and, 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 and different shiurim. Matzah is one kind. Matzah is like matzah. You add nothing to it. Nothing's really done. There's matzah. And then there's chaifa. Then there is chaifa. And then there's difter. Now the more explains. Matzah kemashmoi. Matzah is literally kemashmoi. That while you did nothing to it, you did nothing to it. And the loy melia, he didn't put any salt on it. He didn't treat it like kemei. He didn't put any flour on it. With the loy off, he didn't put any gold or juice on it. The mai hilchas. What do we need to know this year for? Loy choy Shabbos. We learned already in Shabbos in Amatznir that how everything has a shear when you carry on amaytzi. When you have, when you carry out when you carry out, you carry out there has to be a shear to say that this is what people normally minimum people carry out. So there here and, and here also there's a minimum. What is a minimum? They lots of mishkutana enough to wrap around a small little weight. And and a small little piece, that's enough. The kama and how much what kind of weight? A quarter of it of this. The pumpadisa, pumpadisa. Okay, chayfa. This, this, this kind of high known as chayfa. The melech it was salted. The like kimeach, where you didn't put any flour on it. The like often you didn't have any gold or cheese. The my hilchas. So then, what's the what's in the gay over here? Like so, Shabbos. Also for Shabbos, the kamashir. What's the shir there? Because what else do you use it for? For the shir of Shabbos. Because now we learned oid. Because they last as kimeach. How much hide? Enough to minimum size to make an, an amulet. Diftera. What's diftera? We just learned in our mishnah. It's the melech. You salted. You started treating it. The kameh, he put the flour in it, but the layoff, he did not put the golden juice on it. The ma'i hilchus, and what's the, what's the, in what way is the shir different? Well, it's our Shabbos, the kameh shir, the licht of Allah is a get. You just said you could write a get on it. And if that's the minimum shir of a diphtera, then you write a get, which is 12 lines. The chacham, so that he said, you cannot write on it because it might be conditions that you erased and nobody will notice. And the chacham say it's all right. Why the chacham say it's all right? Why are they concerned? So the Gemara says, Man Chachamim Omer Rabbi Lozer, the Amayi Rabbi Lozer, who is a student of Rabbi Yechon, has said the name of Rabbi Lozer, the one who argues the Amayi, the Tanah, Rabbi Lozer Shimon, he the Amar Eidim Mesir Karsi. Rabbi Lozer is the one who says that Eidim Mesir Karsi, which means it's not the Eidim who sign on it that, that matter; it's the Eidim that actually get transferred. Now, normally, when a woman brings a get, you don't ask her to go bring the Eidim Mesir here. You would just look at the Eidim Simon, and people recognize things good enough. But the moment you see they're using kind of parchment that can be erased, we're worried that maybe there was some conditions there. We're going to say to her, bring the Eidim Messir here. But according to Ramey, you don't, you don't necessarily have to have Eidim Messir. All you have is Eidim Messir. Yeah. How can a, uh, how you going to, you know, and when people recognize it's grown up, maybe there was a condition there, which cases and lives according to Rashi. What would be if the Eidim Messir actually fronted up and they said, yes, we uh, we signed it and we remember there were no conditions. It would be good enough. He says, no, it isn't, because according to Ramey, it has to be cannot Messir. You have to be able to receive the star has to be self-evident. And here it is. Here it isn't. Anyway, so we're saying. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you finished that thought. But what type of juice were you talking about? I didn't quite catch Gornut it. Gallnut juice, oh, is, uh, like from oak trees, that have these uh, these uh, the gallnuts. And this gallnuts is is it's like a superfood, by the way. If you if you look at it these days, it's used for 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 all kinds of medicinal purposes in, in Asia, other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. And that's what they used to use also to 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 tan hides with, and. Um, and that's how they treat it with heights. If it, if they didn't yeah. do that, it wasn't fully treated yet. And we learned before mm -hmm. about ain case in main mill and the main mill, and they used to make ink out of it as well. So if, if you did, you know, uh, you shouldn't use an ink made out of main mill on top of a parchment that uh, that had a fitzel on it. Use gold because then it's, it fades over time. So we following Rabbi Lozo says that you need, you need Adim who actually saw the transfer. So that you're gonna when they see that this is a document that, that looks like it was a race, they would call them up and they would remember. Were, were the conditions there or not? But Abba Rabbi Lozer well, said, since we're relying on memory, like Rabbi Lozer, the Tanner Lozer, did not allow it. Allowed it. Only this happened pretty much straight away. So therefore, they stood fresh in their minds. They'll remember, oh, there was this condition, that condition. I will make kind of remember. It's a long time later, Lloyd. And even Rabbi Lozer says, you'll call the agent of the city. You think they can recollect it. Somebody else, not their business, really. You think they're going to recollect whether the conditions inserted there or what conditions are there. They might even remember there's a condition. But what happened? The person changed the condition. So, like. 
We're not, we, then we won't rely on, even according to Blazer, it won't be a valid get if it's written on something, a document that can be erased. Maybe there was a condition and then they forged it. Somehow they removed it, they, they amended it. And Abiyachin agrees. He says, I feel like can, but that's not a yummy. Abiyachin says, No, people will recollect. The Imbi said, The Havibay Tanoi, Mitka de Kira. Belaza says that if there was a condition, they'll remember. They'll remember. Then another argument, Ramad Abelaza, Abelaza said, Lo yichshir Abelaza, the time that Abelaza did machshir, ele begitin, only when it comes to divorces. Avo bishar shtaraz loi, but when it comes to any other contract, no, and the difference is by divorce, as soon as she's divorced, she can, and probably she will go to a bezin, show them that she's a free woman, and she doesn't have to keep the divorce anymore, because once bezin puts in their register that this is what happened, that she's a free woman, that's it. So of course, <laughs> she wants to walk around and remember, make sure that she retains you know, this get and whatever, she loses it or something. So because she will pretty much deal with it straight away, that's why it's all right. Mashainke and all other contracts are, are just there for a raya, only a, a evidence. It's, it's there for longevity. And 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 Aiden definitely not going to remember years later what happened. First of all, in a, con- in a, in a financial contract, might be more than one con- condition. might be many conditions, and you remember them all. The purpose of this start is to last for a long time. So therefore, it doesn't work. Rabbi Yechiel says, "Even starters." Rabbi Yechiel says, "He said even starters." But see, by the man yamdu yomim rami by yimio, he said he had to buy land from Israel. The man yamdu yomim rami is not the purpose. No, hashem eats a tevik mashlam. They were talking about seventy years. We're going to bubble and then we'll come back. It was an eats a tevik to store it in clay cheder so that it, it can. Because that in that particular situation, they needed it for a long time. It's a good advice, not because that's what makes a star a star. Says the Mishnah, "Hakob shayim nichtus get everybody can write a get afilu cheder." Even those, and we'll soon see why. And we'll, and we'll see why we'll explain according to one view is because that we follow here, Rabbi Meir, that the writing of the get is not vital, it's the signing of the get. So if it comes to writing, anybody can write it. Or we can learn like Abel Laza, that the writing is vital. But we're talking about this under supervision. Somebody's watching, monitoring what they're doing. How Isha Kesevis is get to the woman writes her own get, and then she gives it to the husband. We had before, and the husband gives it back to her, which is the famous question everybody asks. We just said you only have two steps, not three steps. Here you have three steps. She writes it, she has to give it to the husband, and then the husband gives it back to her. Isn't that three steps? So, one of the answers is when is it considered a, a, um, a third step? Is if you're doing something with the get itself, like you have to cut the get off, you have to do something with the get itself. Here, yeah, here, here giving to the <clears throat> husband is not considered a uh, activity. Uh, Others say even if it's activity, but how is the husband cutting the get just by lifting it? Does not really doing anything. That's not called an activity. But each case of a shaver, the man then writes a receipt and gives it to her. Transfers her. And the logic behind why it seems reading of the mission, the literal reading of the mission is that the main part of the get is the signatures, if you follow a mayor, and then we don't care who wrote it. If you follow Rabbi Leza, means the ones who conclude the get, which is actually the aid of Messira. And we're talking about over here. That you um that you have uh, what do you call somebody that's under supervision of the kids. Thinking about it, well, Abba then you know how can you use the cheshav cut that they have no idea what's going on. How can they be reliable? Somebody under the supervision, and uh, and even though sometimes we say that doesn't work, but over here they were the, the person was saying the whole time the shmuel the shmuel. You go to matzah bakery and you see this the mashgiach screams out shem shem matzah mitzvah every few minutes. Same thing over here. The gadol is not just watching them, make sure they're doing nothing wrong, but constantly reminding them to do it lishma. So they're just like a scribe, really. But exactly. Tais has a question. question. Well, how can there be a shliach? Yeah. There can't be a shliach. So Tais answers a chiddush that you don't that you don't need a shliach for writing a get. And the proof is says, and the logic behind it is, the text of the cross that you should write. So you would think you have to write, and then you can appoint a shliach to write on your behalf. But writing is something is a skill. Most people don't have the skill to be a cipher. So how can the data mandate to us to do something which is we don't most people can't are not capable of doing? So obviously it says Tracy because is referring to whoever the cipher is that that person should write it, Lishma. Cost of law, law is Lishma. So the is telling you that whoever it is. So the husband, what is so what do you need the husband to nominate the cipher role? Because the husband creates the concept of Lishma. Tracy says in not so many words. In other words, in order to be Lishma, if he wouldn't have instructed the Sefer, the Sefer could have written his name and someone else's name, doesn't make it Lishma his wife. There are a million women out there who have that name. Why did he, because the Sefer had in mind that person if it was called Lishma? He said no. So therefore, we say that Lishma is only if it's um, if the husband instructs and that becomes Lishma. Says the Gemara further, Amla Rabnachman. 
So the Rambam said, "Let me ask according to this: What about other chavim Yisrael Magabba? If you're going to say that doesn't matter whether you personally are capable or not, if somebody supervises good enough, so why can't the guy be the one to write again as well, uh, and under supervision? And, and you could tell me, Hachinami, I'm not going to be cautious. Most of the no. Why not follow this line of reasoning? Yes, a guy can write it. There was no supervision. And when the mission says that that you can write, we're following that as a god who's standing above them." But we are talking about the price. I'm going to It's clearly that a guy is puzzled to write again. If he's under supervision, why is a guy different, worse than the chedesh I've forgotten? So I'm going to is worse. You know why he's worse? Oivet kachavim ledaited the nafsha of him. Chedesh I've forgotten have no mind of their own. So you tell them they'll be a parrot. They'll do exactly what you tell them. A guy has a mind of his own. He thinks you know. I, I, I he tells me what to do, but I think differently. So because he had, he does have a mind. His problem is not that he doesn't have a mind. His problem is that he has no shaykes to the whole thing. So therefore, even under supervision, it's no good. And then Hadram Nach later Nach changed his mind. La Milsi the Amri. So here you see again another example. That was Rabbi Rabbi Nachman also made a psak, and then later on he reconsidered and he changed his mind. It's not correct what I told you before. Now what the Midrash Apostle Lei Levi Chodim the Inyan Abba. The next mission we're going to learn about who is disqualified to be the deliverer of the get. And there clearly he states that a guy cannot deliver the get. And yet in the preceding mission, which we just learned, it talks about who's kosher to write. Doesn't talk about a guy. It seems the clouds are eating. See the kosher says it that a guy is possible. Doesn't and, and doesn't mention a guy at all. That means over here, a guy is kosher. Because if a guy, if a, if, if a guy is possible in this mission, he would have said already that he's not only forget about delivering it, he's not even capable of writing it. So it means that a guy is not is is, is kosher to write it. I, but Tanya, I will impossible. But we learned in the Brice, he just quoted that a guy cannot write a get. I hear Rabbi Lazar. Rabbi Lazar says that the main part of a get is the writing because he holds the eight of Mysterio. So the title is because of his writing. Rameya says it's because of referring to the witnesses. But you, so therefore, a guy can write. And, and our mission is Rameya, and therefore, a guy can write. But Rabbi Lazar uh, says that the, that the writing is important. He is the author of the Brice that says that a guy cannot write. I'm an agent of the Carson. We'll be in and see the Shema. We need writing the Shema. And why can't a guy write under supervision? <coughs> and surely a guy, when he writes, a date the Nafshi Kavit is, is writing it for whoever he thinks how it should be done. And therefore, he does not listen. He does not listen. Okay, we'll stop over here. And we'll